up, babes? It's Megs here, otherwise known as the Megs Cahill. And today I am doing a Halloween look for you guys. I'm doing this awesome tiger look. I totally was having a creative block. I sat down. I was like, I want to do something cool, some cool kind of makeup for Halloween. Tried like three different things, just wasn't coming, like, just wasn't working for me. So then I was like, you know what? Yellow and orange eyeshadow is always a good start. And it turned into a tiger. So I'm so, so obsessed with this look. I think it looks so good. I think it's such a good Halloween look and like such an easy way to like dress up with your face and just wear a cute outfit, you know? A little bit different than your average like cat. Like to add the stripes, I think it makes it look so much more cool. And then like the bushy eyebrows. Oh, I just love this look so, so much. It totally just like kind of happened through the tutorial. So um, it isn't me explaining it. It's gonna probably be a voiceover. But anyways, I've been gone on YouTube. I know, I'm so sorry. Life's been crazy. I've been very out of it. I should do an update video. Um, but anyways, moral of the story, I'm back. I'm ready to go. It's October. It's time for some Halloween makeup looks. And you guys know I am one of those ones who just loves Halloween makeup looks. Like, I just like to have cool Halloween makeup looks. And maybe my videos aren't as, like, crazy produced as, like, Crispy and Desi and all them. But I know I have good makeup, so stay tuned for more of my Halloween makeup tutorials. But if you guys want to see how I got this awesome tiger sultry look then just stay tuned and keep watching starting off with my brows i'm just underlining them with a pencil or sorry not a pencil this is not a pencil megs i'm underlining them with a angled brush and shadow this is just a small luxy brush and i'm just fluffing out the top as much as possible as you guys can see there's a lot of fluff a lot of spikes at the top underlining the brow with some concealer just to set my base and really clean up the bottom of the brow shadow is super easy to clean up and then for my transition, I'm going in with yellow. I just really wanted something bright and vibrant. And like I said, I didn't really know what I wanted to do, but I know I wanted color. So that's where I was like, let's start with yellow. So I really just put this all into my full crease, blew it out on the edges, and brought it into the inner nook of my eye right there, as you just saw. Next, I decided to take an orange, and I took a vibrant orange. These shadows are all from the Carity Matte Palette. I absolutely love that palette so much. And I'm just working this into my crease with a Wet n Wild fluffy brush. So once that's blown out, I'm going to go in with our deepest shade. I'm just using a little bit of a smaller brush. This is a Wet n Wild brush as well. And I'm taking a dark brown shadow. So everything is layering. The yellow is blown out a bunch. The orange is a little bit lower. And this brown is the lowest. I just really want to make sure it's all blown out as much as possible. And I'm going back in with the orange to kind of add more warmth. You can always go back and forth with brushes. You want to keep them on hand so you're able to do that. Next, I'm taking a small bullet brush and taking that black and just keeping it almost more like on my lid versus in my crease. I'm just trying to get that tight color of the darkest before I cut that shadow and then blend that out. Next, I'm going to put this on the corner of my eye. Since I am a tiger, I want that feline little flick to my eye. So I'm pulling that out with the small bullet brush, kind of like a wing. And then I'm just going back and forth with that middle transition brush to really blend it out. Cutting the lid per usual, but this time I didn't take it as high. I kept it a little bit lower so it's right in my crease. That way we can see a little bit more of the darkest part of the shadow. Next I'm going to take this Diamond Dew. These are from uh, Lime Crime and these are absolutely amazing. I'm just taking this shade right here and putting that all over my lid. This is just so beautiful. I love these products so much. These liquid glitters just stay so well and make such an impact on the eyes. I'm going to go back with that bullet brush and black and just kind of add some black onto the corner of the glitter and then onto the V of my eye just to deepen it up. Again, like I said, always go back and forth with other brushes. You want to make sure you're consistently blending and keeping that very blown out. Adding some liner. Liquid liner will be the easiest because liquid is going to fill all the cracks of the glitter where if you did a gel, it's just going to kind of sit on top. So I made sure to do liquid. Next, taking foundation, I'm using my NYX Cosmetics Total Control Foundation, mixing two shades. One is a little too yellow, so I mix two shades. Using my Jouer Cosmetics Concealer on the inside and my ColourPop Concealer on the outside of this highlight points, just highlighting my face with this concealer, adding some dimension. Blending that out to get the most seamless, perfect blend. I definitely added that Jouer Concealer in the middle more because I wanted even more brightness to just the center of my face. Next, taking bronzer. This is my favorite bronzer ever. This is the Milani Baked Bronzer. I love this one so much, and I'm really going to bronze my face like a little bit more than I normally would because since I am a tiger or feline, I, very, I really want that like warm, very tan vibe. So I'm applying that all over my face. So cheekbones, forehead, sides of the nose, jawline, all that jazz. Just make it nice and warm.
Next, I'm taking that brown shadow on a fluffy, clean brush. And I'm just applying this on the sides of my nose into where my brow is and the nook of my eye right there. So what I'm doing is kind of just creating that like a wide nose stance that tigers and lions and all that have. So I'm not really going on the top. I'm going on the actual side of the nose to make it look even whiter. Now I'm taking this Lancome little highlighter. It's so gold toned. It has like a orangey gold vibe. So I just apply this all over my cheeks. Um, not necessarily just where the highlight is, but over my cheeks as well to add like a glow. I'm also going to put this into my forehead so that way between the stripes we get a lot of glow. Applying this on my nose as well, but as you can see, I don't know if you can tell too well here, it's not the lightest, so when I turn certain ways it looks a little muddy, so I'm going to have to highlight that even more with a lighter shade. But like I said, applying this to my forehead too, so when I draw those stripes, this gold will reflect through and it's going to look absolutely beautiful. Next, taking my Too Faced blush, I'm just adding a soft pinky peach vibe to the face. I just want it to be very pretty and cute, so I'm just kind of flushing this over my cheeks. Next, we're going to start with the under eye. We want the under eye to be just as blown out as the upper part of our eye, if not even more. So I'm starting with a yellow and a brush and just blowing that out as much as possible. I'm definitely taking the shadow lower than I normally would, like I've blown it out pretty low here because I wanted the, the effect to be very dramatic. Now going back with orange, so basically mimic the top, going yellow, orange, brown, black under the eyes, each time getting closer and closer to the eye. Oh, the faces we make when we apply our uh, stuff to our waterline. <laughs> so I'm using the Grolactic um, Mechanical Pencil Liner, just applying this to my waterline. It's really cool because it's slanted, so it sits perfectly on your inner lash line. So I'm just blocking out the inner part of my eye. I just want everything to be very dark right here, and it's just going to help the gradient look even more dramatic from the black all the way to the yellow. Next, I'm taking some black shadow on an angled brush. You could do this with liner too, but I just want to do a shadow. I feel like it was easier for me to just stamp it onto my eye. And I just have this on the inner point corner of my eye so I'm just adding that little like feline kind of vibe here by adding the point to my eye it's elongating my eye and making it look very very feline-esque next I took my Grolactic liquid liner just to make sure that liner was even more intense and what I did is I actually connected that liner to my lower lash line so it's just super consecutive no kind of break of like lash line to liner just a full consecutive liner here Next, we're going to be drawing our nose. I went ahead and used the Grolactic pen as well to do this. You guys can use face paint. You guys can use eyeshadow. <clears throat> you guys can use gel liner, whatever you want. I just went ahead and used this mechanical, this mechanical pencil. Whoop. I just went ahead and used this liquid liner right here so I could just easily color it in. Then all felines have that little line to their lips, so I'm going to go ahead and do that as well. Super easy touches to add to any makeup to give yourself a cat vibe. Now we're going to start with the stripes. So luckily, I didn't have to look at a reference photo for this because growing up, I was absolutely obsessed with tigers and jaguars and all that. So I was pretty much able to draw these lines off memory. Basically, um, you want your forehead to have those that connect. Um, tigers tend to have those on their back where the corners connect. So I wanted to make sure those connected. And then I just drew some lines on my cheeks and temples to kind of all match. Really, these are just however you feel. If you guys want a reference, go off exactly how I did mine to have a pretty good like consecutive tiger look but honestly i just went off how i felt with my face and just by how i remember tigers looking this does take a little bit so be patient i do recommend drawing the lines first like how i did on my forehead and then how right here i'm making them thicker um i did sometimes accidentally go out a little bit out of the lines and such and that just made me elongate them or kind of just add whatever i needed to and improv while doing them Next, I went ahead and did my lip. I just drew a straight line across the top of my lip, a curved line actually, but I did not give myself a cupid's bow. I just went 
right across with that liner to make the top lip of a tiger. I did like that I used liquid liner so there was no chance of that transferring. Next I took that black liquid liner as well and went through my brows just to add those spikes, add that really wispy effect, add that dual tone of the browns with the black. I feel like it just pulled together the eyebrows so well and it made it so much more dramatic and very stand out. Very stand out, very much stand out. Next I'm using a Milani ho holiday collection, um, not holidays in Christmas, but holiday as in October. So this is the Halloween lips. I believe this shade is Witch or Vixen. I think it's Vixen next. I believe Witch is the black. I don't know. I'll write it down below. But anyways, I just use this on my bottom lip and I'm adding some Mimi Artistry lashes. These are actually in the shade Mimi and I'm absolutely obsessed with these lashes. And that really just finished off the look. Added some mascara and that was it. babes that was it for this look i hope you guys enjoyed so so much make sure to check back on my channel for more halloween videos i will be posting a bunch more throughout this month i want to try to get out as many as possible so yeah i'm just so excited for this look i think it's so beautiful and like sultry and like sexy but like so easy that you can just do this cool makeup throw on a cool outfit and be good to go so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this so much please make sure to subscribe to my channel Check down below for links to my Instagram and my Twitter. I am consistently on Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat as well, but it's not as popular anymore, you know? So if you guys want to DM me on Instagram or tweet me, I'm always open to answering you guys' questions and talking to you guys. So go ahead and connect with me on my other accounts. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and check back for more videos. And if there's any Halloween videos you guys want to see, go ahead and add that below in the comments. And I'll go ahead and pick that up and do a makeup tutorial on that for you guys. So anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, babies. <laughs> Your little brother never tells you, but he loves you so. You said your mother. Only